Here we have a Napoleonic Spanish Peninsula skirmish game, uh, which is going to be using uh, Sharp's practice rules, and the scale is 40 millimeter. The idea of the game is um, a British exploring officer has just been brought down by a French sharpshooter, uh, who now has to try and escape the French and link up with the Spanish and British forces that are arriving to rescue him. Here we see the main town and the British exploring officer in the bottom right hand corner uh, where his horse has just been shot and the British troops which are organized into small squads are now advancing onto the table to try and rescue him before the French capture him. Here we can see uh, the French squad advancing onto the table. Uh, they'll have to advance through the town and hopefully try and beat off the Spanish defenders and then have to take on the British infantry that are advancing through the town in the opposite direction. Here we see another couple of uh, French squads arriving and they're at the point where the exploring officer's horse was, was brought down. And here we see another French squad forming up ready for their advance into the Spanish town. Maybe a little bit confusing that the French are dressed in red but these uh, these guys are actually a Swiss unit which were dressed in red jackets but they did indeed fight for the French throughout the Napoleonic Wars. Okay so the French now getting quite close to getting into the town itself they have to move through the last couple of obstacles and uh, the dice here are just a, an indication that the unit has moved it doesn't serve any other purpose the British have now got into the town as well so we would expect uh, some firefighting to start happening and here we can see the position that the British are coming in from the right hand side and the French coming in from the bottom end of the town on the left The British are beginning to form up into positions, ready to receive the French. Here's another couple of squads moving up. Okay, here's so here we have the exploring officer. Uh, the dice indicates that he has been injured and he's wounded so his movement rate is slowed and we now have got the local Spanish guerrillas moving up to cover his retreat and now will start to take on the French who can be seen moving up into the bottom of the town and here are the French forces now getting pretty close to the Spanish that you can see in the background. And uh, another unit of reinforcements for the French comes onto the table. Okay, so the French now have pretty much got got their way into the town and we'll begin to try and hunt down the British exploring officer before he manages to escape. Now the, uh, the local church <coughs> in the town has now been alerted to the presence of the French and the, uh, the monks in residence there are have also decided that they're going to join in with trying to take on the French and British riflemen 
We're also now taking up position around the church to start uh, stopping the French advancing through the town. Not quite sure how much use the uh, the old muskets that the the priests are using there, but uh, but we'll see. And here we can see the British continuing to move up through the town to help rescue the British exploring officer who's making his way slowly through the town. Here we see the Spanish militia and the regulars beginning to cover the exploring officer's retreat. And the British infantry are now deciding they're going to start taking up defensive positions in buildings. Uh, the French now moved up and they've got into a walled courtyard where they've decided that from here they'll start uh, taking on the Spanish and French, uh, sorry, Spanish and British troops that they can that they can see, while other French troops continue the advance through the town in hoping to uh, catch the exploring officer. A couple of the French units still struggling their way through the terrain outside of the town. And here we see a French unit that's decided it's going to go on a bit of a flank march to see if they can outpace the uh, exploring officer and, and get around his flank and capture him. That was just another French unit arriving as reinforcements as the firefight continues between the French in the town and the monks. Uh, the French unit that's gone on the flanking march is now beginning to run into uh, the British infantry that's taken up position at the top end of the town. And after a, a quick firefight, they start to get into some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, the firefight in the town continues with the French slowly taking out a few of the Spanish militia troops and a couple of the riflemen. Unfortunately for the French, the troops that have managed to get through to the top end of the town to capture the British exploring officer are now finding themselves to be outnumbered by the British troops up there and uh, are not faring particularly well. And slowly they're getting annihilated as they're outnumbered. And here we can see the British surrounding one of the French units that has managed to, to get through to the top end of the town. And the British exploring officer has managed to link up with one of the British squads and he's taken up position inside their formation. So it's going to become harder for the French to actually get a shot off at him. So he's now pretty safe. And with the French forces that have been whittled down quite badly now, they're uh, going to find it incredibly difficult to uh, to either kill him and certainly not be able to capture him. So feeling safe, the British exploring officer decides it's uh, time for him to make his way off the table whilst the last of the British infantry finish up the last couple of French units in the town and the last few French units moving up through the town uh, in a vain attempt to uh, cause more casualties. So at the end of the game it's uh, quite clearly a British and Spanish victory as the exploring officer has managed to escape.